In this tutorial, we're going to classify equations as ODE or PDE, and then give uh, the order and degree of each equation, and state whether it is a uh, linear or non-linear. We are going to look at uh, four equations. The first one is y prime divided by y prime prime plus y is equals to zero, and the second one is the second derivative of x with respect to t plus four multiplied by the derivative of x with respect to t is equals to zero. Then the third one is the second derivative of y with respect to x plus x y squared is equals to sine x. And the last one is uh, the second derivative of y with respect to x raised to the power 3 plus x multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x raised to the power 4. I'll start by looking at uh, the first equation, y prime divided by y prime prime plus y is equals to zero. I will multiply throughout by y prime prime so that I rewrite that equation as y prime plus y prime prime multiplied by y is equals to zero. What we see there is uh, the equation only has uh, ordinary derivatives, and therefore it is an uh, ordinary differential equation, which we write in its short case uh, ODE. Now if we look at that equation there on that part, we have the highest derivative is 2. And if the highest derivative is 2, the differential equation is a second order ODE. And still looking at the highlighted part there, we are having the y prime prime is just raised to the power 1. Therefore, the degree of uh, the ODE is uh, 1. And uh, lastly, what we have uh, there is that, um, that part there, the y prime prime multiplied by y. We are having the dependent variable. It's multiplying the derivative of uh, the dependent variable. Therefore, in this case, by definition, we have that uh, that uh, differential equation is uh, non-linear. Therefore, what we are having is it's an ODE, it's a second order of degree one, and it's uh, non-linear. Let us now move on to question number two. We have uh, the second derivative of x with respect to t plus four multiplied by the derivative of x with respect to t is equal to zero. In this case, we are having x is the dependent variable and t is the independent variable. What we are having there, we are having only ordinary derivatives, therefore it's an ODE. And if you look at that part there, and the highest derivative in that equation is the second derivative. So it's the highest derivative is 2. And if it's the highest derivative is 2, the equation is a second order ordinary differential equation. Still looking at that part that I've highlighted there, and the power of uh, that highest derivative is 1. And if the power of the highest derivative is 1, and the degree of uh, the given equation is uh, 1. And looking at that equation, and there are no products of the dependent variable and its derivatives, and neither the function nor its derivatives okay to any power other than the first power. Therefore, by definition, that equation is linear. We now move on to question number three, where we are having the second derivative of y with respect to x plus x y squared is equal to sine x. In this case, we are having our y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. And what we are seeing there in that equation, we are having only ordinary derivatives. Therefore, the equation is an ordinary differential equation. And uh, looking at that part there, and the highest derivative that we have is a 2, and therefore the order of uh, the equation is a second order ordinary differential equation. 
and still looking at that part that I have highlighted, the highest power. The power of the highest derivative is a 1, and therefore the degree of that given equation is a 1. Now we go on and look at uh, that part there that I've just highlighted with x multiplied by y squared. What we are having there is uh, the dependent variable y is a power which is uh, not 1. And by definition, if the dependent variable is a power which is not 1, the equation is said to be non-linear. So question number 3 is a second order, or DE, of the degree 1, which is non-linear. Let us now move on to the last one, question number 4. We are having the second derivative of y with respect to x raised to the power 3 plus x multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x raised to the power 4 is equal to 0. In this case, we are having only ordinary derivatives. Therefore, the equation is an ordinary differential equation. And if we look at uh, that part there that I've highlighted, the highest derivative there is a 2. And therefore, this one is a second order ordinary differential equation. Still looking at that part there that I have highlighted, the highest power is raised to the power of 3. So what we would have is by definition the degree of that equation is 3. And uh, lastly, what we have to look at is uh, the power there. The derivative is raised to the power 3, and that part there is raised to the power 4. What we are having is uh, the derivatives of uh, the dependent variable y with a power which is uh, not 1. That one is a 3, and that other one is raised to the power 4. And if it's raised to any power which is not 1, then uh, the equation is said to be nonlinear. So in this case, we are having that equation is non-linear. So in summary, what we are having for question number four, we are having a second order ordinary differential equation of degree three, and that equation is non-linear. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comment section.